So with a knife you can mark your uh, border and then with a shovel you can remove it and then finally you've got here your, your plot where you want to do your measurement and it's uh, and with this frame you, you avoid that there is a lateral flow, so it means sideways. So the flow will always downwards to this cup where you uh, collect the runoff material. So this is the first part that you have to do, you have to prepare this frame. But what you see always is that there is some, some space. And if you leave it like that, the water can infiltrate in between this this is space, so you have to uh, use some material from what you took out and you have to put it over there to avoid that the water will infiltrate south southwards. Then if this is ready, then you have to prepare the, the outlet and it has to be uh, um, has to make a good connection with this spot so that that means that the water will, what's running off, it it goes here in this outlet, not underneath, but in the outlet. So that, then you use the knife again. So you make a, a ditch, and then you put it over there, and then you can use the hammer to, to be sure that you have a good contact. So the water is going on the outflow and not underneath. And you see here also, you cannot avoid that, some spaces. And you have to fill that also with some material from, uh, from, uh, from here. So that's important, otherwise you have a measurement and then you've got a, a, a failure. And then you have no measurement. So try to do it as good as possible. So you have to calibrate that instrument to that intensity. And with this device, we use always the same intensity. And in, in, uh, so you can uh, compare your results everywhere. Because with every measurement, you do the same intensity. So the, 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 the intensity is not a parameter anymore. So you are interested in the, well, the effect of vegetation on the slope. And you do a measurement with the same intensity so you can compare it one by one. So, and for every, every measurement when you use this instrument, it's always 370 milliliters a minute. So you have to calibrate that instrument. So you have to do that not on your plot, but near your plot. Otherwise you uh, can just can damage your plot if you do a measurement or something before your measurement. So then you put it upside down, put it on the frame, and then you get here the opening, and then you have to fill it with water. ready for uh, calibration. Well you see here the scale and the level. What you need is a stopwatch and a piece of paper that you, you can write down the, the level. So in this case we start here at 12. It's 2250. And then uh, we do it for a minute or half a minute, we open it, and then we check the level after 30 seconds. And then you can calculate if it's the, the, the right uh, volume of simulation. The legs, this from the back, this is 40, this is 41. 
and you have the, the length, the distance between the legs, then you can calculate the slope. The slope. Other person they have to uh, read the level, another person have to write it down, and also you have some persons to um, to change the cups. So you you are with four or five, so you can everybody has a uh, uh, part of the experiment. Okay. These are numbered. You start with one. Okay, you put it over here, and then write down the time, and then, okay, open it, and then we see what will happen. What do you think what will happen in the beginning? Okay. What will happen uh, in the, on this uh, <coughs> spot? Well, I guess first the water will be intercepted by the grass and the other vegetation uh -huh. and then it will infiltrate and after that run off the water. Yeah, when it's separated, yeah. then yeah, that's the process. We did it in the in the rainfalls or in the simulator in the in Wageningen. You saw it how it will happen. So but anyhow. So you check the time. After 30 seconds you have to change it. And here's nothing in but it doesn't matter because that's a measurement. Eh? So this Two. Well, take care of this clean. So then you do it for um, yeah three minutes, and then you got a range with the cups, with or without runoff. It depends on the way you do your measurements. And afterwards, when you did your measurement, well, you have to collect the content of the the cups. So then and you have to measure the, the volume of every step, so every 30 seconds. Well, in this case it's zero, so if you have zero and you put it here in, it's also zero, eh? that's clear. <laughs> but if it's uh, here, well, some water, some runoff, then you, because we want to know also the, the volume of the runoff. So runoff is, is the sediment plus water. So you put it in. You read it and you fill in the form. That's a column. You the runoff in milliliters. So you can measure the, vo the uh, volume. But in total, you are also interested in the, the sediment. And then you have to take the samples to the laboratory because you have to put it in, the, in an oven. Then you can uh, uh, separate the water from the uh, sediment. That means that the total of the cups. You collect it, you have to put in this one. So uh, here you collect all the runoff from the whole experiment. Mm. And we take that to the laboratory and I will uh, measure the sediment. Mm. 